And as Nigerians continue to agitate for the restructuring of their country, Yakubu Dogara, Speaker, House of Representatives, has said that such calls can only become a reality through the alteration and amendment of the 1999 Constitution. And of course, here at us in the studio is a senior advocate of Nigeria and public affairs commentator, Moyo Shore Onibanjo. Thank you very much indeed for coming. Thank you for having me. Well, um, that Dogara said that the process has to begin with the amendment of the Constitution is stating the obvious, isn't it? Yes, uh, exactly. There is no way that this agitation for restructuring can come to be without the instrumentality of amending the Constitution. Mm. Um, the Constitution has framed the current structure that we are using. And if we are to move from where we are now into the restructuring that is being canvassed, mm. the only way, the only means is by amending the Constitution. All right. Now, heavyweights in the country like IBB and Atiku uh, have you know, put their weights behind restructuring the country. And as a matter of fact, IBB talked about uh, devolution of power, giving more responsibilities uh, to the states. Has, I mean, they, hasn't the time really arrived you know, to do such within the country? Well, I think, you know, the, the, the call for restructuring by devolving more powers to the state and um, kind of weakening the center. Mm. I mean, it's been with us for a while. It's not recent. It yeah. is just being, um, it is kind of a reborn movement that has picked up steam of late. Yes, it is good to devolve more powers to the state, particularly fiscal federalism. Mm. I think that taking the federal government taking 56% of the revenue and leaving the 36 states and 774 local governments to share 44%, I think that should be looked at because the states are really at the grassroots. Mm -hmm. Local government and states are closer to the people than the government at the center. Take, for example, why should the federal government be involved in running secondary schools? I mean, it, it, it's, 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 to my mind, it's absolutely ridiculous. Why should the federal government be running secondary schools? These are duties and things that states should do. Why should the federal government um, be involved in all manners of things that really are for the states? So we need to sit down and let these powers be devolved to the states, to the local governments. But I must sound a, a, a note of warning that restructuring will not sweep away all our problems. <laughs> you know, so if we, if we, we might restructure all we want, mm. but if the operators, you know, don't change their mindset, then we'll be back where we started. We will simply... Just as Obasan just said uh, more recently, that we need to change our mentality. Exactly. If, if we don't change that, we will simply transfer the problems at the center to the states. That's, that's all it will mean. All right. Now, uh, um, uh, acting uh, you know, president, uh, Shubajo, said not too long ago that all of these calls would eventually be looked at very, very shortly. But do you think that they will have the willpower to carry the process through? That, that exactly is where the problem lies. Amending the Constitution is not an easy task. Mm. You need two-thirds majority of the Senate and the House of, 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 of Reps. And then you need for at least 24 state House of Assemblies to also vote in line with you. If you know, and we know the way Nigeria is now, especially with um, this agitation for secession, for, you know, people, people being self-centered. So it's very easy for one state to scuttle the entire process. Mm -hmm. So if the acting president really, 
means what he says, then they have an Herculean task ahead of them because it's not easy to amend the Constitution. I think we have only managed to do it um, maybe on two occasions. Mm -hmm. I think we have the Second Alteration Act. And those issues that were amended were not controversial issues. So it was easier to let them go through. But mm -hmm. when you now get to the naughty issues of, for example, derivation, for example, revenue, mm. census, and all the issues that we, 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 we have never, we have not so far been able to find Consul. consensus, then that's where the problem is. All right, but if, if you look at um, the evolution of Nigeria as a country, up to this moment, it would seem like we've just been moving in circles without real progress. Before now, the uh, great philosopher of, um, uh, of um, you know, Ikene, you know, Dissen, that's uh, Awolowo, oh, no. Chief Obafemi Awolowo, did say that true federalism is the only way that Nigeria can make economic and political issue. We are back there, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you, you, t you, you are right in a sense that we take always in our country we take one step forward mm. and two steps backward. So when this administration sets up policies and things, you see that the next administration will not follow through. Take an example of the last national conference that Jonathan, President Jonathan held at the end of his tenure, mm. right? Now, when he left, the next administration jettisoned that. But then you wonder that had, John, had President Jonathan done that national conference earlier on in his tenure, then he would have been able to implement some of the, of the recommendations of the national conference. Again, even at that, after the report was submitted to him, President Jonathan himself did nothing about it because he, he, he could still have issued executive orders PDP had the majority in the National Assembly. It could still have gone ahead to do certain things. But again, we lack that willpower. Mm. Our political leaders do not have the willpower. They don't want to take difficult decisions that will move the country forward. Right. So what they give us is what you journalists call sound bites. So they come and tell us, OK, we're going to do restructuring. Mm. Restructuring is good. but. It ends there. Right. Well, it's all right. Um, public affairs commentator and senior advocate of Nigeria, Moyo Shore Onibanjo Thank you very much indeed for coming to share your thoughts with us. Thank you for having me. All right.